right. You know the score by now. There will be a timer on tonight. It is going to be 10 minutes. Bash. It started. Right, we've got a quick one today because I am under a little bit of time pressure. I'm hoping I'm all in and my hat's not like chopped off the top. I think I am. Um, today is a super exciting date, so it's firing number three, un, deux, trois. Uh, so, yeah, un, deux, trois, un, deux, trois, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, neuf, dix, un, deux, trois, six, right. Uh, it is exciting today. I cannot wait. So, we've done the bisque firing. We have done the glaze firing. I'm on my third firing, which is hopefully going to be my final firing. And today I'm doing my, is it decals? I think that's, or is it deep? I don't know what it is. Basically, it's my transfers. So my transfers are on, and I've also got my gold luster. I've only got, I'm literally only firing probably like eight or nine items in this box, which I'm going to show you. And I'm sort of running a little bit loose tonight, like I haven't got my little note pad it is this morning it is i've been up since seven i've got my stuff ready i painted yesterday everything is super dry and um, so it's really really cool and i can't wait to show you them but yeah so we've done the bisque we've done the glaze and the glaze turned out well i actually have got a little video here i really really want to show you and this is when the first cups these are rough around the edges these aren't like obviously perfect they're not pristine but they're my first ever prototype where it's like being glazed and that and see the colors that and see what's happening some of them did stick to the little um kiln furniture things underneath the little bits but i knocked those off oh, oh okay we'll work on the measurements well <laughs> boom yeah cheers, cheers. <laughs> Mm. Ah. Perfect. Bit of banter. Right, here's a first initial little try. So we've just had our very first coffees in our little mugs. These are the prototypes. I don't even know if I was in there. Probably wasn't. Probably just the top half. Um, but yeah, first ever ones just back from the kiln this morning. So this is me documenting the journey. And yeah, the black, the red, has really, really worked. The cigarettes look awesome. Stubbed out the matches look really cool as well. Obviously these are really, really super, as you can see from the bottom, like things have stuck, there's too much glaze applied, the foot's too small. So there's a lot of problems, but basically, four months later, we've got a product that I'm like, literally eight out of 10 happy with. There's a few more perfect little things like the foot needs to be cut in more, um, better. The matchstick needs to be improved, obviously, which I have improved on the other ones. But um, the white inside just looks bloody tremendous. The little foot on that one, it is good, but I want to paint these instead of dipping these in the bottom. And just look at that coffee inside. If it's going to focus, it looks bloody cool. So yeah, I just enjoyed my very first coffee um, with Louisa and matching coffee cups. Cheers. But yeah, there's, there's been obviously lessons learned. I'm putting the glaze a little bit too thick on the bottoms and the feet need to be larger, which obviously I want to take that into account. Make those things absolutely perfect. But nothing exploded, nothing cracked. And Sharon said I did very bloody well. She was like, you just need to stop doing everything and literally just focus on this for the rest of your life. Um, so that was quite good. Um, we're having issues i'm not gonna lie with uh some well basically with money money is a massive issue that's the biggest issue i have and obviously it filters down and it hits absolutely everything um i've got another job lined up thank god so that is a little bit of money but it's in a couple what is it three weeks time um so there is very few jobs coming in but obviously family friends that side of things and just being in a super lucky position might have to answer this because this is i'll answer this because this is actual work so i'm going to stop it at seven minutes 14 so we'll pause that there i'll be back um where were we well i want to show you a bloody cup so yeah money's an issue um a really bad issue i've approached the bank uh to have a bit of a loan but i said the last time i probably come in here um, it was 10 years ago, you didn't know who I was, 
and I still had the kids card at the age of like, it, it was like mid to late twenties. They were like, what are you doing? I was like, this is the kids card. Spot on, it was, it saved me through. And it's just like, you could only have like a minimum spend a day. And it was like, right, okay, that's fine. I don't think I restarted the timer, so I will restart the timer. Back, we have resumed. Um, but yeah, so this is the transfer. So I've got my little instructions. Oh, this is just an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Give us two seconds. Right, bash, pause again. Wait. I will redo the timer, but this is it. I've been like, I've been going, oh, I'll do all my glazing and I've given myself a date. And then I've sat in the morning from like nine to like half one, just doing emails, just doing like sorting stuff out. It's an absolute nightmare, um, but that is all in it. Right, resumed, seven minutes. Seven minutes, right, I've got my, this is what I'm taking to Sharon's literally in about half an hour's time. Um, so I've got my first initial, you probably won't be able to see this as well, I'm having a really bad issue with the light in here. It's raining today, so this might be okay. But uh, with my previous YouTube, instead of like me showing the sketches, I've just done it on the table because you could not see the book at all. Yeah, so I've got my instructions for the sort of ceramic um, transfers I'm using. And also I've matched the temperature I'm going to go up to, but not the soak time with the gold. So I don't know if that's an issue. Sharon hopefully will tell me. Um, but basically, I've got a couple on here. So these are just like glazed... Um, folded napkins but obviously they're only going to have very few bits on these cigarettes have massively improved since this time but the, this is just like little sheets I can fire these transfers on and then hopefully see the results see what's happening see if they see just how they fire um, so I've got a little copy stain I've got a little pair of lips as a kiss on the napkin I've got my crest logo and there's obviously just the matches on there as well. So we've got a few of these. I've got a few of like, these are really horribly bad. As you can see what happened to the bottom. These are like the roughest ones. Oh, I've actually not told you. So when I was in there, about to fire the glaze. And um, Sharon was like, oh, these like two um, influential potter people are going to come in. They've been potting for years and years and years. And they've got like an exhibition place. Try and get talking to them. Didn't even know if they were coming in. Anyway, they come in and uh, the guy was like, oh, they, bear in mind, this is all like the shit stuff. I didn't want anyone to see. And these were just the trials. I was literally just going to like slap some paint on and go, right, is that look okay? Blah, 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 blah. So I had a series of little cups, series of um, saucers. And the guy was like, oh, who's are these? Who's are these? Like, these look class. Like, I definitely buy one of them. I was like, oh, they're mine. I'm just trialing. This is my first ever glaze um, firing. He was like, we need to exhibit these. I was like, you can't exhibit them. Surely you can't exhibit them. First of all, these are my, you know, my trial pieces. And second of all, I was like, you've not even seen them fired. Like, I can't have my own exhibition previous to not even firing the first time. He was like, you can't. Anyway, we had to talk about the brand. I told him obviously the name, told him how all the influences I have and I sort of sold them on. He was like, we need to get you in the exhibition. So I was like, well, you've boosted the ego this morning. I thought these were really, really bad. These are my trial pieces. Um, but if you want to fire them, I, I was like, if you want to exhibit them, even before they've been fired, that is bloody amazing. So I walked out back to the car. I was like, yeah, I just saw my first exhibition out because Louisa was in the car. She was like, what? I was like, I literally can't believe it myself. Anyway, so these have got little coffee stained rings on the bottom. Hopefully this will focus and I'll give it time. And I've also got the little transfers and I've wrapped around the little gold um, sort of, the, well, to be honest, I've done a really bad, bad job of wrapping these and I think I'll have to paint them with the luster, but there's a little uh, gold transfer around the, between the white and between the orange um, of the cigarette to break it up like you normally see those little bands on cigarettes. I've also gone for a little roll in the stone transfer in black just to see again how it fire. This is probably one of the worst sources ever because I hand painted it and now it's just like, like dip, 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 dip. Um, I've got a couple, there we go, we've got one less, only joking. Um, we've got a couple on this little one so again it's just a nice little bit of glaze, like a little glaze tile with a slight fold in it but I've decided to 
put a stamp on, a couple of stamps, and then obviously a bigger version of my Crest logo on there as well to see how it fires. These are just trial ideas. I'm just gonna. These are not gonna be actually on there, but since I've got the, since I've, I don't want to show that. I don't want that to be anything. It's just a trial piece. It's if it breaks, it doesn't matter. I actually quite like this one as a trial piece. This is the first little logo um, I stuck on. Hopefully, I want to get these logos done in 24 karat gold. Um, so I've got the gold one at the back, which isn't gold. I'm not using the 24 karat just yet, but I just want to see how they work. And I've got the black on the back. I've got a little logo on the side. And the best bit, I don't know if you'll be able to see that if it'll focus, I might run with a series of sort of cool phrases inside. So the first one, I was just like, have a Siggy. Because have a Siggy, Siggy is quite essentially British. Siggy is what we over here in the UK call a cigarette. Sometimes it's a bit of a slang for a cigarette. Um, but these logos aren't obviously going to be plastered around the cup. They're going to be tastefully positioned on the bottom. But I just want to see what they look like on the glazes as a trial. Um, but I love the lips there as well. I want to definitely do a series of when like more for, I don't know, the girl market or anyone. I mean, I would still love to have a girl's pair of lips on the espresso cup I'm drinking from. I just think it looks bloody amazing. It looks so good and it captures it so well on the white. Um, so these are just like which transfer looks better on what colored cup so hopefully i'm going to go through them as well um, again i've got a red one gold logos couple of ones there nicely glazed inside put a little logo on the bottom uh, but these are super rough um, but they're literally just to just to get the the colors just to get the right effect just to trial it um, and then these were just my trial paint and my trial dipping cups as well so some of them have worked really well and some of them i'm happy with Others not so happy with, um, but you can see those. I've also got, this is the espresso cup I've been drinking. So literally last week, one of my targets in my diary was to have a espresso cup I could drink a coffee out of on the Friday. And I bloody did it, and it was the best feeling in the world. Uh, so me and Louisa shared a coffee, we had a, sorry, we had a coffee each, and it was just killer. it. Like four months, four months later down the line of having the initial idea to literally not knowing anything about a wheel, not knowing how to throw in a wheel, and then pulling this out of the bag. Obviously, I know about clay, I know how to sculpt clay with my hands. These little details, these are perfect. So I've painted the little gold um, ribbon along um, around the cigarette here on the side. This is the cup I've been drinking from, but with this one, it's gonna go into the third fire rim because I've put some gold, 24 karat gold, around the rim. Um, so it actually, is a brown colour now, but when it comes back out of the kiln, it's you know 700, 800 degrees, so it's quite a low firing this time, the third firing, um, compared to the previous one, which was 1,200. Um, I will sort of talk about all my, you know, what I've learned in the kiln and all that stuff, because it's so much and it's like, you've got to, you've got to be on it. Obviously Sharon's helped me so much and took me under her wing. She's the person who sort of owns the kiln repair shop and she obviously does kiln firings as well. But yeah, I'm super happy with this cup. I have been drinking out of this cup the past previous week, but now it's gonna go for its third and final firing of the 24 karat gold. Oh my God, would you look at that for timing? Absolutely smashed it. So there's the 10 minute one. I've got loads of emails to bloody reply to now and hopefully, I shall be drinking from this cup and my little saucer, but with a little bit of gold luster on the top next week. Uh, yeah, so if you've not seen the old journey, go back, go and see where it all started, go and see how the first initial idea happened, how obviously to get your ideas down on paper, um, and hopefully we'll get all that stuff with the paper when I actually show you it, so I don't have to go back and re-edit. But yeah, everything will be cool, everything will be spot on. Come along for the journey, subscribe if you're new, Go and check out, hopefully I will have by this time, an internet website shop, which I'm trying to set up at the minute. And hopefully the Instagram will look bloody cool. And there might even be a first campaign out there because that's what I'm thinking about now. And that's what I'm getting super excited about, like filming a campaign with some of my friends, cool locations, hopefully drinking maybe in a couple of weeks time to a month's time out of my series of espresso cups. So yeah, come along for the journey. Cheers, uh, thanks for support and watching all these anyway. Um, and hopefully you're getting some little tips you can put in or you've just enjoyed just seeing how I've gone. But cheers, see you in a bit.